Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with Dave's Faves. And today, I want to talk to you about this absolutely marvelous disc. This is Beethoven's Triple Concerto and the Septet. Um, and the performers are David Zinman, conductor. Uh, Yefim Bronfman, Gil Shaham, and Trolls Mork with the Tone Hollow Orchestra of Zurich. This is really a wonderful record, I have to say. Now, I gave a talk about, like, great composers' dullest works, and my vote in Beethoven was for the Triple Concerto because, you know, it, it, it's, it is. <laughs> what can I tell you? What do I mean by dullest? Well, it, it doesn't have any of the tension that you usually find in Beethoven. This is a very relaxed, easygoing, kind of long-winded, noty piece of music. It's so unlike Beethoven in so many ways. It doesn't mean it's a bad piece of music. We're just all talking comparatively here, but in a wonderful performance, oh my, it just comes to life. And this is a wonderful performance, a fabulous performance. It's vaguely period instrument, you know, influenced in the sense that the tempos are snappy, the rhythms are really clean, textures are clear, but you've got this unbelievable lineup of soloists. I mean, again, it's it's Yefim Bronfman, who did fabulous Beethoven piano concertos with these people, Gil Shaham, who is, of course, amazing, and Trolls Mork, a crack cellist. The cello leads in, in the triple concerto, so you really need to have a good cellist, and he's absolutely splendid. It's all beautifully recorded. But here's the thing. This is one of those discs where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. You know what I mean? Because the septet is is a, one of those wonderfully lovely, you know, relaxed, easygoing masterpieces. It was Beethoven's most popular piece of chamber music in his lifetime, so that, of course, he grew to hate it, but he rearranged it as a piano trio or whatever. I mean, he knew he was popular. He didn't fight its popularity. He actually promoted it. And it, it's a yeah, solitary work one that a lot of people who love Beethoven don't really know. It's a serenade. It has well, one, two, three, it has six movements, you know, a minuet, a scherzo, a couple slow movements. It's really, really beautiful. But it's like the triple concerto in the sense that it's also very relaxed, very easygoing, very, very jolly and friendly. And, and it, it doesn't have a lot of Sturm und Drang, you know, that storm and stress and tension that we like in Beethoven. Even in Beethoven's cheerful works, you know, he's usually there's a there's a restless energy about them that's that's often quite, quite special. And the septet has none of that or very little of it. And the triple concerto has very little of it. What that means is that they make excellent disc mates. They really do. They go very well together because they're, they're written for very different forces, which is nice. It means that there's a nice contrast, tone and timbre between the two of them. But in terms of their emotional climate, their expressive intensity, they're quite similar. So you could call this disc the relaxed Beethoven or the more relaxed Beethoven, and it would really work. It really does, because the performances are quite lively and very exciting. So there's no, there's no question of, of dullness on the part of the players or the interpretation. And to put these two works together gives a slightly different slant on what we normally come to think of as typical Beethoven. Um, as a result, I think, I think the triple concerto in particular comes off sounding a lot, a lot better than it usually does. And the septet, of course, you know, is, is as good as unknown. It'll be wonderful for people who don't know Beethoven all that well. And so there you go. It's, it's a phenomenally well-planned, well-executed project. And whether I love the triple concerto or don't love the triple concerto really is irrelevant because I can really appreciate a great performance. I could appreciate a great performance of, you know, a setting of, of the Manhattan Telephone Directory. If it's really done well and really done with conviction, I'm up for it. And this one really sells me. It sells me on the work. It just, just puts it across with such verve and dynamism that I have no complaints at all. 
I understand what it is in the context, especially with the septet, um, as a very, very considerable bonus. Wonderful disc. So it's on Arti Nova Classics, and it, it, it's just stupendous. The Tone Hall of Zurich, David Zinman is the conductor, the soloists again, Yefim Bronfman, Gil Shaham, and Truls Mork. And then the, the septet is, of course, a septet. It's for violin, viola, clarinet, horn, bassoon, cello, and double bass. Great stuff. Absolutely great stuff. So keep on listening, friends. Thank you for joining me. Take care.